And coming up on the home stretch of the season, week 15. Wow. To think that we started this in like week two or week three, it's insane that we've already gotten to this point of doing this for three months. But we start off with two very mediocre teams at this point because the Chargers just can't seem to find ways to win. Justin Herbert is injured once again with a finger injury again, but now on his throwing hand. And the Raiders are just disappointing at best. They got back to 500 and then they proceeded to lose three straight games. It's tough. It's tough. And I'm recording this right before Monday Night Football. That's a doubleheader this week, so I don't know what's going to happen there. I did record an episode talking about this. I did pick the Cowboys, thankfully. I don't think I picked the Broncos. I don't know. I'll have a whole catch-up of all the episodes. Mainly, I'll keep the past ones in terms of putting the record back to normal at the end and i'll show the record at the end i'm just gonna show the basis of what the video was supposed to be for this past week and who i chose for that one and then i'll leave the record at the end of the video if you care about that but in terms of my opinion and who is going to win i do think the chargers are gonna somehow come out with the win i think austin eckler might have a very good day since he finally got a touchdown for the first time in like three or four weeks I think he's going to keep that up, possibly get two or three touchdowns, and I would love that since he is on my fantasy team. On Saturday, the 16th, we have three games. A little confusing. I did not know that we had Saturday games this week, but Vikings at Bengals, I'm going to have the Bengals coming out with that one because the Vikings had such a subpar game against the Raiders only getting three points it was zero to zero for the majority of the game and then they got a field goal I'm gonna have the Bengals winning that one they seem more well put and maybe even Joe Burrow can come back at some point I don't know if he's out for the season or not Steelers at Colts I'm gonna have the Colts winning that one putting the Steelers at 500 and putting Mike Tomlin's streak at risk, but I think the Colts will edge it out. I don't know if it's going to be a blowout. Broncos at Lions. The Lions have lost two straight games, or two of their last three games, if I'm not mistaken, because they lost against the Packers, and they lost against the Bears, two rivals of theirs. Now they're 9-4, and four and the Broncos are on a hot streak. I think the Broncos continue to be on a hot streak and put the Lions at 9-5. and five. Falcons at Panthers. It's easy enough. The Falcons are going to win that. The Panthers offensive line is not helping Bryce Young in the slightest. And I think that they're going to continue to suck. So Falcons are going to win that one. Bears at Browns. I'm going to have the Browns winning that because the Browns defense overall is just so versatile and so strong that the Bears, I don't think, will be able to handle it. I think they will be able to score a good bit, but I think the Browns will end up coming out on top because of a defensive stop at the end. Buccaneers at Packers. I think I'm going to have the Packers winning that one. Yeah, I'm going to have the Packers winning that one. The Buccaneers have looked okay, but Mike Evans is kind of wishy-washy right now because he had a couple good games and then this past game he basically wasn't seen at all jets at dolphins you know who i'm picking and it's going to be the dolphins these aren't even just because i feel like the dolphins are going to win every game it's because i genuinely feel as somebody that watches football they have the, the possibility of doing so and especially against the jets with zach wilson that quarterback i think we can handle business against them giants at saints Oh, that's a tough game to decide because Derek Carr was not looking good this past week. The Giants might win that one, and I might take that. And if I take the L on that, oh well. But I think the Giants are going to come out with that. Texans at Titans. Titans are facing the Dolphins tonight. The Texans have lost their top two receiving threats. I don't know if Nico Collins is out for the season. CJ Stroud got injured in that game too. I might have the Titans beating them. Chiefs at Patriots. This would be crazy if the Patriots actually beat the Chiefs, but with two straight losses, I think the Chiefs could bounce back and blow out the Patriots. 49ers at Cardinals. I'm going to have the 49ers winning easy enough. The Cardinals basically are going to be a top draft team, even though Kyler Murray is back. I don't think that they're going to be going for a QB. They might just go for Marvin Harrison if he's in the draft, because it seems like he might stay with NIL deals 
helping that case a lot with about 20 to 25 million nil deal money that he's possibly going to be getting if he stays at ohio state i don't know we'll see commanders at rams i am going to have the rams winning that one the rams gave the ravens a run for their money and it was a great week for them but they ended up losing so i'm gonna have the rams winning that bills at cow or cowboys at bills the bills need to win that game but i don't know if they're gonna be able to beat the cowboys the cowboys have been on a bit of a hot streak i wouldn't put it past the bills to win so i think i am gonna choose the bills to win eight and six which gives the dolphins a little bit of a pressure point in terms of having to win this week ravens at jaguars i'm gonna have the jack uh, the ravens winning that one not the jaguars the jaguars are a little injury plagued with uh trevor lawrence their main guy having a high ankle sprain tried to play through it last week and it just didn't help them ravens they got saved by the refs a little bit at the end of the game against the rams but i'm gonna have them winning that one and it's gonna put that dolphins ravens game so much more pivotal i think it's in this next week after week 15 if i'm not mistaken no it's week 17 but either way that game with the dolphins or ravens is gonna be pivotal eagles at seahawks i'm gonna have probably the eagles winning that one as much as because geno smith has a groin injury i don't know if he's gonna play one two as much as the eagles have been playing bad they're gonna have a bounce back game at some point and it just might be against the seahawks but overall i'm pretty confident with those picks to run through it one more time before i send you to see what our record is at the end of this past week <coughs> sorry chargers Bengals, colts broncos falcons browns packers dolphins giants titans chiefs 49ers rams bills ravens and eagles i've been picking against the eagles for the past couple weeks and i think that's going to change this week in terms of them winning but if you did enjoy that please go down there and like so more people can see it leave a comment on what you think is going to happen this week what you disagree with me we can have a conversation down there i'm more than happy to talk to you guys whether you go against my opinion or not and subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of chico's choices we are in the home stretch of the season and we're about to get to the playoffs we're really gonna dive deep into those games and decide who we think is gonna win analytically for the season and also just in general but i will see you in the next video peace Bengals. Cowboys, Steelers, Lions, Chargers, Texans, Jaguars, Dolphins, Commanders, 49ers, Jets, Seahawks, Vikings, and Eagles. Lions, Cowboys, 49ers, Dolphins, Falcons, Steelers, Jaguars, Colts, Giants, Titans, I never said which one for specifically for that one. Cardinals, Broncos, Chiefs, Bills, Ravens, and Vikings. Seahawks, Chargers, Lions, Falcons, Steelers, Colts, Dolphins, Broncos, Buccaneers, Rams, 49ers, Chiefs, and Jaguars. We have the Steelers, the Falcons, the Ravens, the Bears, the Colts, Browns, Saints, Texans, Vikings, 49ers, Bills, Broncos, Cowboys, Dolphins, and Packers.